Welcome back to the channel, I hope I got you with this little unboxing here. Here it is, the Rode Video Micro, it's actually not in here, it's already on my camera recording this video. Okay, let's start with today's video. Today's video is all about this microphone here and microphones in general and why I think you should start using microphones if you do not already use them. Okay, it was a couple of weeks ago when I picked up this Rode Video Micro and I thought I should do a quick review on this because it's a great product. I have to say this product here fits perfect in my cheapest professional series on this YouTube channel, the Bargain Hunter series, if you will. So I thought this is the next product for my little series. We've gone through decks, through trucks, through backpack, and now the microphone. Okay, let's start with a little story how this happened. A couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video called my vlogging setup and in that video I told you that I am using this Nikon ME1. The thing is this microphone didn't the job for me anymore and so I had to find a new solution. Here's the problem, the thing with this little microphone, it's a great microphone but as soon as you start using this outside, as soon as it gets maybe windy, this microphone just can't handle wind and that's the thing. If you look at some old videos, I was like pissed. I filmed such a good vlog, came home and the audio quality was If that's a good sound effect for wind. <laughs> Something, just get out there like That's the problem with this microphone. I tried to laugh it, I tried to use it, but at some point it just like, it wasn't enough anymore. It couldn't do anymore what I wanted it to do, so I went over to Amazon and ordered this video micro because I saw some videos and I think this is the best solution for vloggers. Here's the thing, this fits perfect in my series, in the Bargain Hunter series, in the cheap professional series because this microphone has such a good quality and it only costs around 50 bucks which is not so much. I think on Amazon it's about 56 dollars. So let's now talk a little bit about this microphone, about the specs and later I will give you like my final thoughts. Okay, first thing, this microphone is like not some super professional microphone, it's a compact on-camera microphone. You plug this into your cold shoe or hot shoe on your camera and it connects over this aux cable with your camera. There's one thing I love about this microphone which is my, whoop, here it is, my old microphone did. It does not require extra battery which is perfect because you know me now, I always forget to charge my things and if my microphone would have a battery that I would have to charge, I would never have audio because I would always forget to charge the batteries, so that's perfect here. Yeah, also Rode, the company itself, super famous for making these compact microphones and I think it's just a great company, so I wanted to give this a try here. The next thing about the microphone, it's compact, it's small, that's also something that I love. I would not like to run around with a vlogging camera with that kind of microphone, that's not so my thing. Also the Rode Video Micro comes with a suspension mount, which basically is a mount that you um, attach to your camera, and this mount allows you to break down any shake noise, which is basically noise that the camera records if the camera is shaking a little bit. It's this little mount here and it's built to break down shakes caused by moving your camera. The next thing I love about this microphone, it comes with this dev cat, I think that's what it's called. This thing like, I told you about the issues with this mic with wind, this thing here should really break down all the wind noises and the key is to only hear me speaking and the uh, environment sounds but not this stupid ugly wind noise. That's not what we are going for here. Little brakes are always perfect when filming videos so that I'm always motivated. Mm. 
chocolate is always perfect for that. Okay, now that we've talked a little bit about the specs of this microphone, there's something that I would like to say here, that I would like to address here. Something that not a lot of people think about nowadays. Here's the thing, I think about this microphone, for example, like this. Okay, these are my thoughts. I think a lot of people always think about gimbals and that kind of stuff. They maybe will buy a new gimbal for thousand dollars to get smooth footage, but I think not so many people think about audio. But here's the thing, you maybe spend thousand dollars on gear like gimbal, new lens and that kind of stuff, new camera. But if you do not have good audio, I think it doesn't really matter because you spend all that money on lenses, cameras, gear, but you don't care about the audio, then for me it has no sense because you can have the best footage but if your audio quality sucks, nobody would like to see it. Audio quality is so important, so, so important. I can't say this often enough, because having good audio is going to bring your production quality from here, like way up to here. It's so important to have good audio. Yeah, that's the message here, good audio. Also, this video should sound pretty decent now using this mic. Okay, I wanted to show you something, the difference between using a $50 microphone and the built-in microphone in a DSLR because, let's be honest, the built-in microphones in DSLRs are like, they are bad. So let's check this out. Okay, now we are on my built-in microphone of this Nikon D5300. As you can see, it's not that good and everything sounds pretty unprofessional. Yeah, it doesn't sound that good, so let's now switch over to the Rode Video Micro. So here we are now on the Rode Video Micro. It should sound like way better now. This is the audio quality of the Rode Video Micro. I think you could hear the difference. This sounds way more crispy, you can hear the vocals way better. And all of that you can have this for $50 and I think that's good because you spent $50, you have this for a few years and your production quality um, goes from here like way up to only way up there. This microphone pretty much has it all for the price. Yeah, and all I have to say, I use this microphone now for a few days and it's a great microphone for its price. So if you're also creating videos and you do not use a microphone already, I think this is the perfect solution for beginners and also for advanced people. And to end this now, I would like to show you one more thing. I recently went outside, shot some footage and I wanted to show you how important audio is. So I made this little sequence with audio and without audio to show you the difference. Yeah, as you saw, a pretty cool video, but here's the same footage, uh, but using audio that comes out of the Rode Video Micro. I think you could see why I say audio is so important. And this is my new microphone now. This is what I'm going to use to record sound from now on. And I hope it sounds good. That being said, this is also the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, today's review. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe below if you aren't already. And I will hopefully see you then in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Bye. Oh, just too good. <laughs>